Hi, I'm Charlotte Dawson and this tutorial is going to be festival makeup because obviously Leeds and Creamfields are coming up this week at a factory. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, give me water. I'm sorry, me. Trace? I think we should go again with that one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlotte Dawson and this tutorial is going to be festival makeup because we've got Leeds Festival and Creamfields coming up at the weekend. So this is perfect. And also, this little sexy number is on X on the Beach tonight and I'm wearing it. Woo! So yeah. And a big thanks to my beautiful model, Anya. Mwah. I don't want to kiss you because I'm lost. But yeah. <laughs> Girls, bear with me, I one nail and I need to scrub that tan off, but yeah. Anyway, so we first start off with Laying Low Paint Pot from MAC and that is a primer for the eyes and I just put it all over and your eyeshadow sticks for days. And then we put the NC15 just under the brow bone and obviously when you put your highlighter on it just pops. NC15 that is from MAC. <laughs> So then we use pearl with the brush Zoo Zoo I can't really say it Zoe Zoe it's from Beauty Bay and it's bloody fabulous it's from America so that's pearl pigment from Peaches and Cream it's my ultimate favorite you might have seen it in my other video I use it on everyone and everything it just gives me complete life. So then we are going on to the Morph palette and this is 35B and I'm going for the pinky colours as you can see and that's very very festival I feel and it's just one of my favourite looks. So I'm putting all the pink all over the lid and just blending all over the lid. And I'm just what I'm doing is I'm blending out the eye because it just it makes it more festival -y and more out there because you want to stand out from the crowd don't you in the bloody festival of course you jump in do so then I get a brush that's got no product on and I blend over the colors to make it just go even more out there now I'm getting on to my ob oh no it's not obsidian it's bloody infinity infinity gel liner from Illamasqua and that's what I use to wing it out. And as I've said in my previous YouTube, it is amazing. It literally is the best gel eyeliner I've ever used, and I've used a few, and it is just amazing. It's so black, and it stays for days. That's what you need. I always start off with my winged eyeliner. Uh, oh, bloody hell, sorry, I'm getting a bit on um, I always start off with my winged eyeliner in the middle of your eye some reason I just found it better and then I work it out and I keep blending, keep blending and then just flick it out really softly. You can't be too hard and aggressive on that brush, you've got to be a bit, you've got to be firm but keep it soft as well. Flick it out, flick it out, flick it out. And then what I do with that little bit in the corner, I always get the client to look, look at me and then look down, diagonal. Then we get Obsidian, the amazing black eyeshadow and blend it with a circular brush, all circular motions. And then also you get a brush that's got no product on and just blend through all the black just to get it all perfect. Then we're getting on to my favourite, Vulgar from Illamasqua. This is my orange and I just love it. It just, honest to God, that colour, you can put it on anything and it'll blend so well. It just looks so amazing, that colour. They're all my favourite colours, literally mixed together. So I just get that blending brush and just blend outwards to make it like such an amazing effect. Just wing it out with the eyeshadow. How beautiful is my model by the way. And then I use Copper Ring from MAC 
and put, just put it a little bit all over the eyes because I love that colour and I just want to mix it into the colours I've already done. I just feel like it makes a massive effect. So now I get obsidian again and go under with a thin brush and just literally go all underneath to blend the eye. Then I go back to Morph Palette 35B, which you can get from beautybay.com, and I get the purpley lilac -y colors and I just go wild with it. It just literally makes your eyes pop. Then I've gone for Kitten, which is peaches and cream pigment, and put it right in the eyes. Then I've gone for Pearl in the corner of the eyes to just mix it up a bit and just make them pop. I'm literally in love with this look already, it's amazing. So I've gone back with Morph Palette 35B and I've gone for a bright blue colour. Obviously, my in my previous YouTube, if you've not seen it, my trademark is the blue eyeliner. I literally swear by it. And if anyone's doing it, they're copying me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so yeah, it's me. All of it. You need to do it. If you're not doing it, you are missing out. Get onto that ASAP. And as makeup artists know, we need a disposable make mascara brush. And I'm just, I literally use any mascara. I like Rimmel, to be honest. I think it's fab. So now I'm using the fabulous Doll Lashes. And they sent me some beautiful lashes through Instagram. And I'm in love. Literally, they're beautiful. And they're amazing for festivals as well. But they're so feathered. They like looked at natural. Amazing. Like natural, but like so sexy at the same time. Oh my gosh. Sorry about the fake tan girls, it is coming off and need to scrub it, sorry. How amazing those lashes. Wow. So you need to get onto those doll lashes, girls. I think it's un I think it's two underscores doll beauty on Instagram. They're literally like minky lashes. Like I want to say round because she looks like a tiger. <laughs> Cara Delevingne ain't your chuffing heart. So what I do there is I go over the eyelash with Obsidian and Infinity and I mix them both together just to make that line a bit more blacker and a bit more thicker. We want it, to, we want it as bold as we can. Bold as we can. Because you want to stand out on that bloody festival, I'm telling you. So now I just wipe the face with a little baby wipe and get all the products off the face. Now we use the strobe cream from that. And get it all over her face and literally your face does not come off with this like I swear by the strobe it's bloody bad let's get strobing and then now we are on to MAC prep and prime light boost pen and you put that all underneath your eyes to get rid of those bags obviously she, Cara Delevingne look like has got no bloody bags. And we use the brush, Bubel brushes. And obviously we don't want to go right up to the flick because we don't want to ruin that flick and the blending beside it. Now we are using NC25, which is Mac Studio Fix. And it is just amazing, this foundation. It airbrushes you completely. It gives you a studio effect. <laughs> and I'm using a flat Bubel brush. I love these brushes, girls. You need to get onto them. They are fab. And make sure you bloody do that neck as well, girls. You know what I mean? Now onto my magic stick. My boyfriend. My love of my life. I can't live without that stick. It is literally my absolute one. 
So yeah, I put that all over the face with a Real Technique brush. Just whack it on. Then we're on to Dark Tan Bronzer with a Real Technique brush and just put it all over the face for a nice bronze look. And now we are contouring with Dark Tan. I love contouring with Dark Tan and I just love contouring with powders as well. I just much prefer it than creams. Look at that contour, it's great. With contouring, I always find it's just it's just how you hold the brush and it's it's what the products you use. You definitely need to use matte dark tan. And then what I do is I put the Benefit Concealer Stick, the love of my life again, underneath the contour and blend it. Now we're using me, Ruby Cosmetics which I'm the face of to contour the nose. I literally swear by this, it's amazing. So you need to get onto that girls, you need to get buying that contour kit because you can see my face every day. <laughs> and then I put light boost pen in the middle of the nose and just use a real technique brush just to blend. Now I am starting the highlighting process with the NARS Illuminator, which is Copacabana. And it's bloody Copacabana. Sure. Then we're on to Vanilla, which is from MAC, and I use that with a Bubel brush, and it is fab. And literally, oh my god, I love the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is, oh my god, it is like amazing. Thank you, Anastasia. We love you for doing that. Can't live without it. Now I'm on to the eyebrows and I'm using Dip Brow, which is from Anastasia Beverly Hills also. We love you Anastasia for doing the Dip Brow as well. She's like the queen of makeup, like she's amazing. I'd love to meet Anastasia. Make that happen please. So yeah, this is chocolate colour, Dip Brow. It's amazing. Oh, I feel like I want to eat her eyebrows. Because it's got chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate flavour, chocolate bloody colour. It's amazing. So yeah, obviously she's got amazing eyebrows to work with, but you've got to feather them up and just keep them really, really bold. So now we are going over the brow bone with nylon, which is a godsend from MAC. It's amazing. It literally makes your eyes pop. It's fab. And then we go under the eye just to get little products off with my boyfriend. <laughs> Benefit Play Stick Tea Party. We love you. Apparently it's discontinuing. I bloody hope not. My life would be over. Now we're on Spice Up Your Life. Spice Lip Liner from MAC. And we are going over that with a mix of sweet and sour lipstick from MAC and Creme Cup from MAC. That literally looks amazing. And now I am putting on some little festival diamonds which are from In Your Dreams. And you can find them on Instagram at It's In Your Dreams. They are literally dreamy. I'm actually gonna dream about them tonight because about dreamy. So yeah, I'm putting one of the gems in the corner of her eyes. Literally, she looks amazing. Oh, bloody hell, one's just fell off. Let's get that back straight back on. <laughs> and I've used the glue from Peaches and Cream. It's lit glue to so stick those on to get them absolutely stuck the hell on. I love these gems. I feel like they're so nice, but not too much. And um, I think they're perfect for festivals. Definitely got on some girls. And then just to go over the highlighter, what I've done is I've used Rainbow Ride Lip Glitter from Peaches and Cream. And I'm also putting it on the lips as well to make them dead glittery and glittery and amazing. And now I've just used Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray to go over the top. How Beautiful, does she look? I'm so proud right now, she looks amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, girls. It is amazing.